In this session, let's see how we can recover if we lose a system data file. We know system data file is very important, right? All the data dictionary tables and database related information is stored in the system table space, right? So let's see what's the name of the system data file. V dollar data file. Okay, it is system 01.dbf. Okay, now let's delete this file and see how we can recover. Okay, I am opening a terminal. Let me go to disk 2 prod 1 data and here I have my system 01.dbf. So let me remove system 01.dbf. Okay. Delete it. Okay. Now let's check it out. Okay. We lost that file. So now if we have to restore the system data file, let's go. Let's shut down the database shut down abort the oracle instance is shut down now let's go and copy the file from the backup what's the current directory disk 2 prod 1 data so let's go to disk 1 slash hot backup and here we have a folder called data and here we have system01.dbf this is the one which we need to restore okay now let's copy the system01.dbf to disk 2 prod 1 data cp system01.dbf to disk 2 prod 1 slash data it's copying the file it will take some time because it is a huge file right it is copied now let's go to disk 2 prod 1 data check out the files okay we have system 01.dbf now let's change the permissions change owner to oracle for system 01.dbf and change group to o install for system 01.dbf changed okay everything looks good now let's go back and mount the database startup mount and we know we start up the database in the mount mode whenever we have to recover the database right so it's mounting and the database is mounted now let's recover the table space system so recover table space system it is giving us a suggestion saying to apply sequence number 31 but here let's mention auto Oracle is doing its job it applied all the sequences necessary it applied 32 33 and 34 and then it finally said I applied all the logs necessary so log applied and the media recovery is complete okay now let's open the database database open and the database is altered congratulations you have successfully recovered the system table space in the next session let's see how to recover a non-system data file okay